Welcome back to Superior Sunrise Now. Joining me is Kara Smith with Newport Laboratories. Kara, I want to thank you for being on this morning. You're no stranger to Sunrise or this auction room, so I want to thank you for being here. But let's go into it. Let's talk about Newport Laboratories and all the, the programs that you guys do offer, such as custom-made vaccines. Yes. So as far as custom-made vaccines, really we start with the diagnostics. Mm -hmm. So if a producer's having some issues, we work with them, we partner with them as well as their veterinarian to figure out what's going on. Maybe there's some, some bug that's coming to the herd that is causing some issues that we need to address with a custom-made vaccine and a custom approach. What are some of the things that you tell producers? I know they see issues such as pink eye and different things like that, but you guys really do want to work with the producer as well as consulting their veterinarian because you think it's really important that these they address these things head on. It is. It's, it's incredibly important. When we're talking about a preventative health approach, we want to look at the whole picture and make sure that we are addressing what needs to be addressed. Um, and doing that with the producer and the veterinarian is essential in the whole process for the preventative health. One thing I think that's interesting, because I've got to spend some time with you guys filming out in the field, is that you know each situation's different, and you address each situation differently. So you do what's best for the producer. So if you have a new client come on and they want to talk to you about what you guys offer, I mean, really, how do you approach that? How do you go into that? So the best way is to look at what the diagnostics are telling us. So if we're having an issue or if we're just consulting with a producer, what did the diagnostics say? Was there a new bug that came in? Maybe it was pink eye, maybe it was respiratory disease. Is there something else that maybe we're missing and looking at the whole approach? And then when the diagnostics tell us what we need to be after, we can have that conversation with the producer and the veterinarian and make a, a custom basically health program for that individual. Well, I know one thing too, you know, different kind of cattle work in different kind of country. And what goes with that is different kind of problems. So talk about, you know, the different regions and some of the things that you see in different regions. So as far as geography wise, you know, we see different pathogens come in in different places. Um, but well, the way cattle move nowadays, they're, they're pretty synonymous in a lot of places because cattle can move from the southeast, of course, up to to on feed and in feeding country and then vice versa. So it's it's really just looking at what we see in that area and then looking at where those cattle are moving long term as well. So. If people want to know more about diagnostics, if they don't really understand it, I mean, how do you go about telling them? So as far as diagnostics, first thing I'd say is get in touch with your veterinarian. Your veterinarian will know how to get in touch with us and then we can do the diagnostics to figure out what is causing the problem and then make that that preventative health program from there. You know, I know sometimes people don't want to pay the money up front because they think, you know, oh, that's a lot of cost, but it really does save them in the end. And what is your approach to telling producers that? Sure. I would say it's an investment in your herd. It's definitely an investment to figure out what is going on with the diagnostics, and then we can tailor a health program from there. So in invest in your cattle. It'll pay dividends. <laughs> well, thanks for being on this morning, Kara. Always a pleasure to have you on Sunrise. When we return, a special guest. Don't go anywhere.